Hey, what's up? My name is Mike Acosta from Sounds to Sample, Beatport Sounds, here with a quick tip tutorial video on enhancing your kick drum. Uh, many times you'll have a kick drum, and as it sits in the mix, you'll find that it may sound a little weak or you want a little bit more low end to it. So I'm going to show you exactly how to create that kind of big boomy kick or simply enhance the kick drum you already have with just a little bit more low end by simply using some of Logic's stock plugins. So let's take a listen to the original kick drum, which is on this track right here, uh, along with a simple clap. And let's see what it sounds like. Okay, so as you can see, real simple. The kick drum itself is pretty cool. It has a nice little high-end knock to it. Uh, it has a little bit of low end, but it's somewhat lacking, and therefore I'd like to get it a little bit bigger. Maybe turn it into a very big, boomy type of kick. And there are many ways that you can do this. There's really no wrong way. The simple way to do this is by using um, Logic's Test Oscillator plugin. And what you want to do is simply open a instrument track, a brand new instrument track right underneath your kick drum. So right here I have an instrument track. If you haven't done that already, simply go to New Tracks, uh, select Software Instrument, Create. And as you can see, it makes one right here. So let's take that out. So here's my track. And what I've done is I've also created a track stack out of this. So that way they are both um, basically bust to uh, one summing output. So here's your original kick drum, and here's our new instrument track that we added. And all you need to do is simply come down to the instrument slot here and you want to go ahead and insert a stereo version of the test oscillator. And let's go ahead and mute that. So as you can see, what it does is it constantly sends a test tone. And you're probably wondering how we're going to turn this into a kick drum or beef it up. So the next thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and insert a noise gate. And what we're going to do with the noise gate is simply take the side chain input of the noise gate and we're going to assign it to our original kick drum track. And what this is going to do now is only allow the test tone to trigger and pass through when the kick drum triggers it. So if we play it back now, and let's go ahead and Okay, so as you can see now, when the kick drum uh, triggers the noise gate, it allows the test oscillator tone to pass through. So the next thing we want to do now is simply tune the frequency on the test oscillator. And you can do that simply by coming over here to this frequency knob and just start tuning it down. And you can tune it to whatever you like. I personally like for the type of kick drum I'm going for right now is in the 40 hertz range. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay. Now the next thing you want to do is you want to make some adjustments on the noise gate. And you can do that by adjusting your threshold here. So let's put this at about 25. And you can also adjust the attack and release. Again, this is totally up to you on how you want the sub part of the kick drum to sound. So what we're going to do is I'm going to adjust the release a little bit and the threshold so that it gets this kind of long extension on the boom a bit. Okay, so there you go. And now you can see we have a nice little low end sub right on the kick drum. Now the next thing that we can do, again, to achieve the big boomy type of sound, we need to add a little bit more to this to kind of give it um, somewhat of a distorted sound. So what we're gonna do is use Logic's Overdrive and simply insert it there. And just by inserting it alone, this is what we get. You can also make adjustments to the drive and the tone. Uh, 
Um, so that pretty much does it. Let's take a listen to everything in context with some additional parts that we have here so that we can see what it sounds like all together. That is enhancing a kick drum by simply using Logic's test oscillator and adding in the noise gate and overdrive, which are all stock plugins. My name is Michael Costa from Sounds to Sample and Beatport Sounds. Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe to our channel so that you can stay updated with future quick tip tutorial videos and artist interviews.